California lawmakers expect the state's budget surplus to reach up to $20 billion. As the legislature works to finalize the state budget, 17's Ashley Zavala explains the big plans for that extra money. State Democratic lawmakers in the Assembly Wednesday laid out their financial priorities with more money available than initially expected. Our budget situation has uh, pretty pretty drastically changed. Budget Chairman Phil Ting says while the Assembly is still waiting on a final budget estimate for the year, lawmakers expect the state surplus to be between $15 billion to $20 billion. That money, coupled with $26 billion collected in federal stimulus, makes this year a more flexible one for spending. We also want to make sure we're protecting everyday Californians. We have millions of vulnerable Californians before COVID who are living paycheck to paycheck. They're worried about evictions, they're worried about homelessness, they're worried about their jobs, and COVID has just continued to exacerbate that. With the extra money, lawmakers are eyeing a potential expansion of the Golden State stimulus, including the possibility of making another round of direct payments to low-income Californians and potentially expanding the amount of people eligible for payment. They're also considering providing more help for small businesses. The proposed budget plan also includes boosts to help with a full return to in-person instruction, potentially marking the end of distance learning for California public schools. We want to make sure that schools are going to be open in the fall, and so we're going to make uh, every take, take every uh, precaution to do that. But frankly, if we don't do anything in this year's budget around distance learning, it means that things will go back to normal. Ting says the assembly plan aligns with what state Senate Democrats called for earlier this month, including investments to tackle housing and homelessness, funds to make college more affordable, and making health care accessible to everyone regardless of immigration status. We begin to uh, propose a full expansion for all undocumented in Medi-Cal. Like the Senate, the assembly did not include a total price tag on the proposals. California's updated economic forecast is set to be released in May. That's when the governor's own budget proposal is due. In Sacramento, Ashley Zavala, 17 News.